Hello and welcome back. I'm Aruma. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign. Europe Universe House 4. This is the Mamluk Merchants. I'm a little concerned to see that the uh, the Ottomans have been busy. They are cleaning things up quite a bit. Their income has come up. I'm, I'm very kind of annoyed actually to see that their trade income is about the same as mine. I make 13.64 and he's currently making 12. So he's starting to edge in on my territory, gosh darn it. So we're gonna have to do something about that soon. He also, I didn't even realize he had attacked Adana, but that happened. Um, he's currently coring it. You don't have to zoom in and find the little man anymore. You can you can just click on the country and see the, the highlight. He also apparently destroyed Akyunlu, removing that fort from Dia Bakir. Bakir. So he only has a level one fort here and I'm pretty sure he has like no friends. I'm going to fabricate on him, and we're going to take Urfa. We're going to use that to release Iraq, so we have a level 1 border fort. Probably build that up to a full fort if we want, if, if we can. Because Iraq does have a lot of cores over here in the Baghdad area, which would be good to to use. And we do have, um, I think we've got... Yeah, we're going to have... We have one relationship slot right now, and if I integrate uh, Medina, which is only 200 points, then we could have another one as well. Let's get this war out of the way. The glorious armies have been attacked in Beja. Beja, Beja, Beja. Treasurers just died. We have an Inquisitor. Ah, perfect. We need one. That's some conversions that are just taking forever. Now they can go a lot quicker. You don't really get any direct benefit from converting stuff when you are... Sunni, as far as I know. I think you have to actually... Hmm. Actually, I'm wondering. Sorry, like, as, as a Catholic, you get, what, papal influence when you convert provinces. As a Sunni, they, they just become your religion and cause you to get mystic. Okay, let's see. As a monarchy, if you are leading troops in a battle or in a war, and you die, then you lose extra stab on death. We don't lose stab when we die. Do we lose stab when we die while sieging. They're not a monarchy, so I don't think so. Because, like, if you were a republic... I don't know. Actually, I don't remember if you lo still lose stab. Weird. Let's just, let's just not risk it. Let's pull the leader off. I don't want to look it up right now. Although he does have the two siege bips. Yeah, let's just not risk it. Gain army tradition, make the emirs happy, and make the merchant guilds just unhappy. That sounds spectacular! That's great! So we're finally going to get rid of this land maintenance modifier penalty and the manpower recovery penalty. We're going to go from roughly ne like 95% re recovery rate to positive 25%. Sweet. So currently we earn 291. Now, 294? It doesn't seem right. It's got to update. It did update slightly by three points, but we need a little bit more than that. Yeah, 291 up to 365. Not bad. So 74 extra manpower per month, or 900 roughly per year. That is going to help. I mean, 10,000 manpower, 9,000, over the next 10 years, that could make a significant impact on how confident I am at fighting the, man the, uh, the Ottomans. He has an annoyingly large amount of manpower pool, uh, bigger than mine still, and I believe because of that, he he's a lucky nation as well, so... Hey, what do you know? We're actually beating him in recovery speed now, despite his luck. That's some more exhaustion, and his nobles are unhappy. Trust me, friend, I know how that goes. I've had unhappy nobles for the last 25 years. We have provincial unrest. That's weird. Is there even an army out there? Adal's got a six stack somewhere. But he's still at war with Ajaran, so... There... Nope, that wasn't it. I don't know where it is. I don't know, and I don't really care.
Nice wall breach. Trading in incense. We're now more tolerant. And we lost a claim on Asir Ibrim. Okay. I'm going to decide. I'm attacking this guy because there's just an opportunity for it. It's a quick siege. Third, seventh. Can't beat him to that province. But I, I need the admin points. I need to catch up on admin tech. We need to buy the institution. We need to finish the idea group. Two more ideas to go. So I'd really prefer not having to core this. But I have four out of five right now. So if I just didn't core it and just sat on it, would that work? You know what? For 32 admin, I think I can afford it. And it already has a fort there and everything. Beautiful. Okay, we can get a claim on... Luchistan. And then this guy. Start working on Gujarat. Gujarat. <laughs> He's trying again. Did Albania keep his alliances from before? Got Hungary. Just an alliance with Hungary and he's guaranteed by Venice. So yes, same group before. I think Pol Poland was involved before, weren't they? Right, one of you guys could go off and start working on this guy. The other guy, I want you to do the peace deal. And uh, since I, I am concerned about my admin points, I'm wondering if maybe we just go really light on this and we don't take more than just the one province. And again, they're just three development, and they're protected by a fort. I think I can afford to sit on the overextension for a while. I need to separate piece this guy first. Well, that's interesting. It's a... Conquest CB. Ah, oh, that's right. You got to declare using. This is so stupid. You got to use the, the subject's claim in order to get zero dip cost. If you use your claim, then their claims cost dip. You do it the other way around. Neither of yours cost dip. Makes perfect sense, right? Or am I misreading it? No, that is that is what's happening there. Whatever. It's a couple diplo points. We're gonna pay the diplo cost. Let's uh. Oh, crap, I can't transfer back to me now, can I? Because the game is bugged. Unless we use that little trick to do that. Okay. Okay, that makes him basically immediately lose his other war, because now his capital moved and it's occupied. Mm, Elodia. I just want you to take these from me. That's interesting. Asia Sunni. Lodi is not going to do a very good job with this land, but I don't want it, so it's all yours, buddy. And we need to core this before we actually get the bonus in here. Core because it's in inland. Yeah, just have to wait on it for a while. Tiny bit of unrest, nothing too major. These provinces are su such complete trash, and I'm not gonna full core them anyway, so I'll probably.
Probably not. Not for a while, at least. Let's do that. And, uh... Park this army there. And we do actually have military access here pretty easily, so that should be fine. Since this navy is the weaker of the two, I'm gonna keep the transports not mothballed and just have them protect trade together. And this army will double up and help take care of that area as well. One supply, and I'm throwing 19, 20, 21. Okay. Okay. Probably should take advantage of this guy before he gets any extra stuff going on. We want to move towards legalism. Yes, I think we do. Mission. What are we doing? Our manpower reserve needs to recover. Yeah, no. A sob. Our brethren. He's trying to convert them. How dare you. A great way to get our legalism all the way to 75 at least. And I wanted to attack you directly uh, after Hadia was finished integrating. Which is done in no months because he's got no diplo rep because don't know what happened to him. Probably was only doing like 1% or 1 one per month and then he lost the advisor, maybe? You have room for a lot more accepted cultures. And that, that cost, Golden Era, is multiplying additively, so very inexpensive to accept it right now. But it's not a major penalty, and I don't care too much about the sailors and taxes in this area. Want that mission to go away. And I wouldn't mind a little bit of extra prestige in Diplo. I wonder if I could do the same thing with the transports. If that they get these ones to join the fleet that's hunting pirates and have their cannons still count. Question of rights. A subject of ours currently holds lands to which we have a claim. Be the province. Seed Zabid. Why would I want that? I don't want that. Announce the claim. And core? What are you talking about? I don't have a core. Fine. It is fine. Innovation wave! Wait. One of the reasons I love innovative ideas. Not only does innovative ideas give you just this, this stupendously powerful tech cost minus 10%, but every now and then you get Innovation Wave and, and other things that... Oh, so good. Even even if you're playing in a mod and you don't really care as much about Monarch Points. He raised War Reps to fight Albania. Good sign. It's the tech disparity here. Hungary's on 6 and 6. Venice is on 5. Tyrannical Nobles. Stupid-ass nobles. Um... So in man, they want to destroy some of the... Yeah, it's fine. Go ahead. Screw it up. Break it down. New man has expired. Now because I've gained some development or something... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you serious? The nobles burned down part of their own country, their own province, and now they're upset because they want more land. <laughs> you little bastards. Bastards is what they are. I'm confused. I'm pretty sure that it was going to be less than that. I thought it was supposed to be like 41, 42, somewhere in there. Maybe I just... Wasn't paying close enough attention, I don't know. It's weird. Admin points, please? I'll gladly seek support. And then demands. I really would like the extra admin right now. Let's see if we can find just a province or two to give them.
Did they? I swear it just did it again. Or am I cra Okay, I might be getting myself confused from the mod. I thought it was 15 loyalty. Is it? Has it always been 20? I think I just might have gotten off. So, more Shame Flux, Golden Era, Monthly War Exhaustion, minus 0.05. We do have a couple provinces that need to be cored, but they can't be cored right now, so let's go ahead and take the idea. And we also get our yearly prestige, which is nice. Help finally get a little bit of trade power. England's declared war upon Castile. What? That's kind of strange. That's weird. Okay, so England didn't lose his land to France, and now he's attacking Iberia. I don't really know how to react to that. Okay, we need to have nine active forts. That's what we have. And... State maintenance is kind of starting to add up. I think I might go back on what I said before and cancel. Cancel the edicts that are not in my core... My core state. We'll keep this one on because there's two estuaries, but the other ones I'm going to turn off. I want to keep nice high income, so I can keep on building buildings. Invited. Okay. What's this? Armenia? Armenia is sieging down his capital with nine troops. You bankrupt or something? Where the hell is your army? Why are you letting this happen? I don't understand. I mean, Armenia can't take that, but... Probably we can take both of those. Yeah, I think it's definitely... It's 15 in the mod that I'm used to using recently, and it's messing me up. This me up in my base base calculations. I need to claim on Urfa, because that's what we're going to take to release the subject. Should probably get the integration of Medina started, because I don't think I can. We'll do what we did before. We'll put Medina on Scootage. I'm going to keep improving with him and... Like Yemen. Getting close to making him happy again. <laughs> Castile's getting wrecked. He has no alliance with Portugal. Portugal is not helping defend against this, and now it's Castile versus Aragon, France, England. Good lord. Good luck, buddy. You are gonna need it. Playing the courts. Gain more legalism. Yeah, okay. You Lima gain loyalty. And the Mecca area gets playing the courts. Well, whatever it is, I want legalism, so yes. Besides, more loyalty of the Ulima is probably a good thing. And they have enough loyalty, I can like, revoke one of these interior provinces now. Can't do the ones that are just granted for a little while. Main goal in, in doing that, I just want their loyalty to be below 50 because I want them to trend upward instead of downward so that if I decide to give them a gift, for whatever reason, they've, they've spent that time growing instead of declining. And the nobles are pissed again for another 12 months or so. Alright, who are we spying on? So we got our claim on this guy, and uh, he has no allies. I guess I should just immediately declare war on him, yes? Medina's already got Scootage toggled, so we can go ahead and get started on the war. This will cost me legalism, unfortunately. Um, not enough to really matter, but... Coming out on the 2nd of December. It's gonna be way too slow, sir. All 
I don't even think he has an army. It's a four stack somewhere. So, I love this, actually. The fact that his capital is occupied and he has no other forts means that I don't have to deal with that pesky no occupied forts in the area. So this war will probably only take one month. He only has one level one fort. There are no allies, no other forts anywhere on the map. So he's going to be really unhappy about the uh, the war score from the occupations. It's all just got full annexed. Timurids lost more land. And that's already 16 war score. Yep, he'll already accept a piece. Get these other two sieges. And I only want the one province and a little bit of cash. And more reps. And we're going to release Iraq. Mmm, crap. Hate that! So misleading! This country may be created from this province. No, it can't. I understand why. I'm not confused by it. I just hate it. It says right there that you can create it from this province, but it's not true. Because Kurdish is not the primary culture group of Iraqi, this is the primary culture group. You can't create it from this province. You have to create it from over here. And I get misled by that every other campaign or so. And it just drives me nuts. I was intending to release Iraq. I can return province to Iraq, but I can't... <laughs> I can't release Iraq. How stupid is that? Fine, we're gonna return province and just try to vassalize him peacefully. But that is just stupid. We don't even get, like, released in a piece. It's just returned province to us. Really stupid. Fortunately, the Ottomans have no claim on them, so we will spend some time improving and just kind of deal with it. All because of one minor little difference in culture group. Almost there, though, on the idea group. Nice. The Rasids rose up in his capital. It'll be easy to deal with. Alright, cool. I'm gonna take a break here. I'll be back in the next episode, though. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.